to one and all today we are going to learn lesson number 8 that is natural resources this chapter children is related to our science subject also in that we have you you all have already learned about natural resources air water and land okay so here geography and science they are all children they are correlated to each other okay so now we will learn more terms regarding natural resources in this chapter so now see children first of all what are resources okay what are natural resources children they are what we'll see natural resource is something found in nature that people can use to meet their needs yes or no whatever material or the substances which are available through nature okay which are available through nature we use it to fulfill our needs so we are what we are basically dependent on these resources right okay see resources are classified into natural as well as man made okay so natural resources are what which are obtained from nature the materials which are obtained from nature okay whereas man made resources are what the man is using these resources, okay and he is what he is actually reshaping it okay he is he is actually processing it okay he is working on those resources and is from those natural resources he is making something new so for example wood which is available from nature and using that wood he is making furnitures and all okay so that furniture is what we are using so that is a man made resource man has made that furniture out of that wood so i hope it is clear to you okay so natural resources are what a natural resource is something found in nature that people can use to meet their needs now see children in uh, our surrounding we see many things on earth right we see many different things on the earth okay some of these are what quite similar familiar and similar to us okay yes however we do not necessarily use all of them are we using all those things which we see in our earth children no we do not use all of them okay what is actually uh, what what uh, what the materials which are actually we can use it okay where we are dependent on it which are useful for us for us only those materials we use it okay we are actually dependent on it okay so now see we have learned to use some of the things that are available in nature for example water land air yes or no these are the examples of it which are actually available in nature so we use these materials we use this resources okay so now the natural things that man uses are called natural resources okay so what are natural resources again another simple definition of it the natural things that man uses are called natural resources now this man man is very selfish one right he is a very selfish okay so what he does whatever things which is available he try to use them okay he needs each and everything okay so man fulfill his needs using these natural resources so whatever material whatever resources which are available in nature man uses them to fulfill his needs okay now air water soils land minerals plants and animals they are all natural resources clear children all these things they are included in natural resources most of the natural resources are limited in nature clear children the resources they are what some of the natural resources they are limited in nature okay so they are what they are invaluable clear they are what as they are limited they are a what they are invaluable to us okay now see see children water is what now we can face this it is it is such an important resource but it is what we are there are some regions on earth there are for example let us consider maharashtra there are some parts of maharashtra where they, where we find scarcity of water because water is not available for the people in plenty clear so these are what they are the, they are limited one okay clear 
Now, here, but if we consider amongst this, air is such a resource that is available for us in plenty. Yes or no? It is available for us in plenty. This resource never depletes. Depletes means which is never destroyed, which is not completely gone. Okay, it, it never depletes. Okay, it's but what happens, children? It's quality. As this resource is available for us in plenty, but we not guarantee that it is available for us in purest form. It's what its quality may differ. Its quality may change, right? Because as we see in the atmosphere, children, if we observe in our in our atmosphere, air is polluted. Yes, because of the harmful gases which are which are evolved from the factories or due to burning and all clear. So what happens because of this? The air is polluted. Okay. The air is what? Polluted. So means from this, what do we understand? We understand that the quality of air may change. Okay. It's, it is not necessary that we are going to get in purest form. Now see children, we need air. Like for example, we are dependent on all these resources, air, water and land for many purpose. So we are dependent on air for various purposes, right from breathing to burning. Yes or no? We, it, it is our such an essential resource for us because if without air, we cannot breathe. We, we require it for our respiration process. And still again from breathing, burning process also for inflating balloons and all everything so there are so many uses of air okay now see here we are going to learn the uses of these resources in detail by seeing few pictures okay i'm going to display some pictures to you now this is here this is a picture see children in this picture we can see that a man is seen plugging the land, okay? So what he is doing, he is plugging the land. The farmer plugs the soil layer and makes land cultivable. Yes, cultivable means where the land is fertile and where, where we can carry out the agricultural process or where we are able to grow crops on it, okay? So such land is what? Fertile land and where we can grow crops, where it, it, he is. He, he actually plugs the soil layer and makes the land cultivable. Now, this cultivable land, he grows on this land. He grows various crops and fulfill his own and others need for food. Yes, farmer is what? He, he works so hard. He works so hard for us in order to give us food, right? So in this cultivable land, in this fertile line, he grow various, various crops, okay, to fulfill his need also, right? He wants to eat food. Same for us also. He is actually working day and night to fulfill his needs and our needs for food, okay? So for this purpose, what he is doing, children? He is using the soil. So soil is a resource for us, right? He is using the soil that is natural available on land as a resource so this soil is what it is naturally available okay it is not artificial that we are inventing it it is naturally available on land okay now see children in science subject you must have studied how formation of soil how it is takes place how there are different layers of soil also you must have studied right you must have studied about humus and all okay so now also you must have learned that to actually to form a 2.5 centimeter thick layer, it takes about thousands of years, right? And if you remember, it takes about thousands of years to develop 2.5 centimeter thick layer of soil. So this process is what children, this process is slow. It takes many, many years, okay, to form that, that layer. Now, soil is used all over the world and therefore, soil is a very, very important resource for agriculture. So, in order, if you want to do, if you want to do farming and all, it is very important for us. Uh, the, the, it is, the soil is very, very important resource for us if you want to do farming. Okay. 
Now, soil formation mainly depends on the original rock. Now, this soil formation, it mainly depends on the original rock. See, children, we studied about rock and rock types now. So, time to recall what we have learned in previous chapter. Okay. So, soil formation, it mainly depends on original rock, climate of that region, organic components, slope of the land, and very, very important that time okay so time why time is mentioned because like just before i told you that it takes it is a slow process it takes thousands and thousands of years to form that much layer okay according to the types of rocks and climates in that particular region different types of soil are formed clear children so now see this topic basically you are going to learn in detail in seventh standard how the soil is formed, what are the factors which are influencing the soil formation, all that right now, which I have just mentioned these original rock type, climate, organic components, organic components over here are what? Remains of plants and animals, okay? Slope of the land and the time. These are the factors which influence the formation of soil, okay? So all these things you're going to learn in detail. So now see children here, Types of different, as we know, there are different types of rocks, and because of these rocks, different types of rocks and climates in different regions, okay, different types of soils are formed because of it. Okay, clear, children. Now, here, what happens? The soil, okay, the 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 rock. We have learned about the weathering of rocks, right? So, because of the different climatic condition, the the weathering of rocks takes place. So now when these with this weathering of takes place, a uh, different types of soils are formed from that rock. Clear children. A long period is required for the formation of mature soil as it is a very slow process. A period of about thousands of years is required, which I have told you. Now see children, I'll show you figure num next figure. Okay. Here in this figure, you can see. This man is what he is actually carrying out fishing process, fishing activities done over here. Okay. Yes. And next here is I will like to show you here. This man is what he is drawing water from the well. And next here is you can see extraction of salt is done. So now from these three pictures, what do you understand children here that which resource is used? Yes, water, the resource, water resources used by the man to fulfill his needs, okay? So now in these three pictures, children, we have seen that water is used by man to fulfill his needs, okay? So here, in the first picture, we have seen that the man was carrying a, he was, he was doing the fishing activity. Yes, clear. So now what from that what we understand the man was catching fish, right? The man was what? He was catching the fish. And in another picture, we saw that the man was drawing water from the well. From these pictures, what we understand that man is seen using the natural resource water for fulfilling his needs. So now see children, we know very well, right from the moment we wake up we are dependent on water we drink water we, for drinking purpose for washing our for brushing for washing our clothes for bathing for washing vehicles for cleaning our house okay utensils etc so we are what from since from morning to night okay till we go to bed we are completely dependent on water yes so this resource is used in for various purposes by man this shows that how water is important for us, right? Water is important and it is, a, uh, the, it is a very, very important natural resource for humans. The entire living world depends on this resource. Now see children, the picture which is now displayed on your screen, it, is, it shows that how we obtain salt from the sea water. We have learned this in lesson number uh, in the lesson number six, that is the importance of oceans, right? In that we studied about how 
uh, how the salt pans are constructed and how salt is obtained from it right children so here because of this the in or from these salt pans we can obtain salt from the sea water so we make use of salt in our day to day life right so from the sea water we obtain salts so that is very see how how useful all these resources are for humans now moving ahead we can see that now see children this is one figure okay over here here this lady and that man is gathering wood okay from the forest right next here is here this man is collecting honey okay from the forest okay next also here i would like to show you this picture here that here this lady is collecting uh, col uh, rubber lattice okay so now from this what we understand children that all these materials all these materials are obtained from where from the forest right all these materials they are obtained from forest so now that picture where the man was collecting wood uh, the so the two individuals were collecting wood from the forest similarly one also i have shown you that some people are collecting different items in forest like honey resin okay and uh, rubber lattice okay so all these are what these are the materials which are obtained from the forest so in order to fulfill needs okay our needs we collect various products from plants in nature right there are what there are various plants on land surface plants are now see children in science you must have studied about the classification of plants and animals right and also there was one chapter diversity okay in that you must have seen that how different different plants and animals are available in nature and how are they how 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 they differ from each other and their characteristics you must have studied right so plants are broadly classified as grass herbs shrubs and trees okay see this classification you must studied in science subject now man has successfully now see children man has successfully experimented with some grasses to obtain food grains so see he has now as he man got man evolved okay as man evolved he learned he learned and he has different different techniques and from those techniques he has performed experiments okay with some grasses and to obtain food grains okay so from that he obtained food grains now this has actually helped him to avoid play painful wandering for gathering food see in fifth standard we have learned about the evolution of mankind right from homo habilis to homo sapiens sapiens how the man got evolved okay how he used to wander for food okay he used to roam here and there but later on later on when he understood he understood the technique of growing crops and all okay so he started settling at one place okay he started living at one place and where he used to settle near the river banks right he used to settle near the river banks why near the river basins and all because the water was available for him for the agriculture so for the agricultural purpose so that he can carry out the agricultural process clear so now the basins of the basins of the wanghi sindhu nile and euphrates are some of the areas where such settlements were flourished in the parts okay you must have studied about the indus valley civilization right children so all this we have already studied okay so from this we understand that how man has been evolved and how he started using the natural resources okay which were available for us uh, for him okay at that time now see children there are also some other products such as wood rubber resin fruits medicinal plants which we obtain from the forest right we obtain so many things from the plants from the forest so now if we consider the region from the equator to the poles see now now just 
recall the earth okay just recall the earth, children the uh, the globe and all just bring that in front of your my uh, in front of your eyes okay and try to imagine from the equator towards the poles so if we consider the region from the equator towards the poles as per the temperature zones now see we studied about the temperature zones that is what equatorial region that, that is torrid temperate and frigid right we studied about thermal zones formed on the earth surface so these temperature zones because of these temperature zones what happens we find the following types of vegetation we find what following types of vegetation see now that is equatorial evergreen deciduous tropical grasslands thorny scrubs temperate grasslands mixed forest broad leaved coniferous and tundra okay so these are what because of the due to the thermal zones which are formed due to the temperature zones which are formed on the earth surface okay such natural vegetations have been formed on the earth okay children now here moving ahead now see children we know very well many animals they actually live in forest they make these forest their habitat okay these natural vegetations which we studied right now they do what the many animals they make these forest their habitat now we know animals who prey on the plant eating animals they also live in the forest right okay animals who prey on the plant eating animals okay tiger yes he they are they are what they are dependent on they they eat basically deer and all and deer is deers are what they are the herbivores right they eat plants clear so this these plant eating animals they the animals who prey on the plant eating animals they also live in the forest so thus many food chains develop in the forest forest are what they are forest or grasslands are the habitats for many animals clear children they are what they are what they are the habitats for many animals okay so now it is basically due to plants that we have got animals as a natural resource so now see children because of plants due to plants we have got animals also as a natural resource so we considered animals also as our natural resource now see we obtain various materials from uh, various things also from the animals now see children plants also grow in water we have studied in hydro we have studied about hydrosphere and the living things in the hydrosphere right so it is very likely that in future we shall have to depend on aquatic plants for fulfilling the needs of the growing human population now see children here you can see the picture of marine vegetation right so it is because of the growing population as the population is growing day by day so people need area people need, need land for the shelter and and for the occupation purpose they need industries so basically what they are going to utilize all the land which is uh, which is there for uh, there okay so now what what are they going to do they are going to cut the trees and all so are the trees going to available on land no so basically what is going to happen we, in the future it is likely that we have to depend on the depend on the aquatic plants for fulfilling our needs clear children due to the growing population now see moving ahead we know very well that there are what there are here you can see i'll show you one picture children just a second now here you can see here the animals are actually used for the there are various animals which are used for the transportation purpose means what is happening here in this picture we we can see that it shows an ass carrying a load okay so here you can see man makes use of animals 
for a variety of reasons okay man makes use of what various animals for a variety of reasons horse oxen camel asses okay they are what they are the animals employed for plugging riding transporting goods etc okay so we have seen that goats cows buffaloes are used as milk animals meat eggs bone powder hide they are what they are the other products we get from the animals clear children so see how how animals are also uh, used as a resource okay for fulfilling our needs they also provide various things for to, uh, to the man okay so children today we are going to uh, complete up to this only and in the next lecture we will complete the remaining topic